a closer look on fighter jets. So do you know what is a fighter jet? Fighter jets are one of the most iconic and powerful weapons in the military of all time. They are noisy, powerful, and they are at the bleeding edge of human technology. They are more like deadly assassins who attack their enemies from out of the blue more, more than like traditional fighters. Before we take a closer look on them, we should know how a fighter jet works. Um, for a jet to fly, it needs lift to make the fighter jet go up and thrust to move it forward. To produce thrust, an aircraft needs an engine. Most commercial aircrafts have the engine underneath the wing, but the fighter jets have it concealed and hidden behind the cockpit. Now let's see how this engine works. A fighter jet's engine should be really powerful to make it go hypersonic and cruise above 20 kilometers. So it needs more energy. Where does it take all of this energy? Do you know? It takes the air from the atmosphere and compresses it using a compressor. It compresses it very much to make the air super hot. And it also adds fuel and gases to it to make it extra hot. So this air is like really, really, really hot. So this extremely hot air passes through a turbine. This turbine extracts the heat and all those energy from the hot air and lets the hot uh, remaining air loose. It takes that energy and, you know, gives it to the afterburner. The afterburner adds even more power. So like we're adding more and more energy to it so that it can go hypersonic. So what this afterburner does, it adds more fuel and gases to it to make it hot enough for visible flames to appear from the back. This extreme hot air um, passes through the afterburner and it goes out through variable nozzles behind the uh, uh, jet. This high pressure air, when released, pushes the jet forward in hypersonic speeds. Let's get into more detail now, guys. Now, we're gonna see some important fighter jets in human history. The first one is the Lockheed Martin SR-7 Blackbird. The thing special about this fighter jet from the others is that this is the most fastest aircraft ever created by man. And the surprising fact is that this was invented before the creation of GPS. So they created the fastest thing ever before GPS. So you might ask, it's a fighter jet, how can it navigate without GPS? It had a special navigating system behind the cockpit which scanned the stars um, surrounding area and navigated through the stars. You get it? And a famous pilot once wrote in his book that he evaded super high-tech missiles by moving at three, Mach 3.5 in this airplane. Imagine, that's about three times the speed of sound. And another fun fact is that 4,000 missiles were fired at this Lockheed SR-7 Blackbird, but not even a single one could touch it. That's how fast and powerful uh, the SR-7 Blackbird was. So moving on to the next one is the F-35 Lightning which is the latest model of the U.S. Air Force fighter jets. This fighter jet is one of the most expensive fighter jets of all time. 
and it's more of like a jack of all trades, a specialist in every area, in you know agility, um, stealth, firepower, etc. And it's a very special one. It's a replacement of the F-16s. Uh, the F-16 is an older model of the U.S. Uh, fighter jets, and this might be a replacement for that. Um, this F-35 main motive was to take every successful bit of every fighter jet created by USA and put them together to make one big superpower. And this is really difficult, so there were some major technical faults in this airplane. But still, it was a really fast one. This is also the only fighter jet that can vertically land and take off. It is also one of the only fighter jets that are commercially available to the public, but it's really expensive. It's about well, 155 million US dollars. So not everyone can afford it. And this fighter jet is mainly focused on stealth. So it's near to invisible. The next fighter jet is the Sukhoi 30. Um, I actually have a real time model of this. This is an um, Indian Air Force one, but it's actually created by Russia and give it to India. And this is a model of it. This fighter jet is actually a multi-role fighter jet. It could be a bomber, cargo, or even a fighter jet. You get it. And it uh, mainly focuses on agility, firepower, and avionics. It is one of the best uh, fighter jets to close-to-close -to -close combat because it um, pulls off difficult avionic you know, maneuvers. It also has a variety of weapons like bombs, air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-surface missiles, and many guns. It was also manufactured in 1990 in Russia. So you can see one of the models of the Su-30. Um, now I'm going to share some parts of a fighter jet that I know. So these are the wings of a fighter jet. And this is the cockpit. Do you know what's a cockpit? It's the place where the uh, pilot can control the fighter jet. Here there's some air-to-air -air missiles. And here's the tail and the thrusters. And these are the stabilizers, which control the movement of the aircraft. You can have a closer look at the model. That's all guys, hope you had a bit of an understanding of fighter jets and maybe you can see in the next video, bye.